This is the last time you guys will see the lights at night, I guess. So this is how I have my lights on just, I guess, the regular um, when you're parked. So I have the little light on the sea light, but it's not actually like all the way. And then I have my fog light bezels. Those are gonna stay the same because those are new. But I'm gonna get a, uh, the, the amber delete, chrome delete. I'm gonna get sea light. And I think switch back some other stuff too, but this is how they look right now. This isn't, this isn't how they run in the day because I have a WRX. All WRXs run with high beams in the day. But I'll show you guys how it runs at night. Let me turn them on real quick. This is how it is at night. The reason I haven't got LEDs, I guess, for the light bulbs is because I knew that I was going to eventually get new headlights. I'll get them, I guess, redone. So I was waiting for that moment. Those are Morimoto uh, fog light bezels, um, LED sequentials from Subimond, and then these are these are just standard um, standard WRX headlights. The fog lights are pretty bright. Yeah, but this is the last look at uh, these headlights, so you guys can see the before and after. I'll give you guys an honest review. There's that. I'll show you guys how my sequentials look if you guys are interested in that. And they're from Subi Mod, so. Yeah, that's pretty much it, but I'm gonna actually take them out tomorrow. I'm gonna get that taken care of. So we'll see how everything comes out. And like I said, I'll give you guys an honest review on how they are. But yeah, that's the lights as of now. What's up guys, how's it going? I'm gonna, I'm gonna start taking off the headlights on the WRX uh, because I'm gonna send them to SoCal Retrofit down in Santa Ana to get them redone. Um, I'll explain later in the video what I'm getting done, but I'm gonna start taking them off. Here's my parts. And this is a 2015 WRX, but I have a 2018 front end on it. I have a video on it if you guys wanna watch it. Here it is. I'm taking out these headlights. They're ugly. <laughs> I'll show you guys the be uh, the after right now after I take them off, and then I got that little parent tail hook. Looks pretty cool. Adds character to the front. I just finished getting the bumper off. Labeled all the clips. I only had one on the side, so <laughs> got one missing. I got the top, and then I got the well, all the bottom. Just label them just so it makes it easier for me. But I just got it off and then I'm assuming it's these up top. The brackets to take off the headlight. So we'll see how that goes right now. It's not going too bad so far though. Here's the car finally after taking off the headlights. I should have shown you guys the process because it was actually pretty hard taking off the the brackets, all the bolts and stuff like that. But um I just searched it up on YouTube. I'm pretty sure you can find a video out there. On how to take them off. Here, here's the inside one. Just... Yeah, my paint's pretty messed up from previous owner, but we'll get it all fixed one day. So, so it's a process. Just got my car half a year ago, so don't ever feel rushed to to build your car. Here, it looks actually a lot meaner without the headlights, but <laughs> here they are. And then let me show you guys my headlights. Watch. They're not ugly, but. They're not the nicest because of the chrome inside. I'm gonna get that all fixed though. Here it is. Though. There's my high beam on there. Here's the other one, same thing. Just leaving them on there just in case. But yeah, my car will be sitting out here for for a good while until it's, until the lights are ready. And the car's dirty, so I'm just going to wash it. I'll probably buy a lip as well. Got a Santa Ana. I'll be dropping off the headlights. Here they are. You guys see the before and after. Here's the before, obviously. Let me show you guys the other side. Damn, look at this. 
can't believe this was actually my headlight ones. <laughs> like this, I, uh, so what I ended up getting was, so we got Amber Delete, we got Black Housing, we got Sea Light, we got a Halo, and then we have switchbacks on the Halo and the uh, Sea Light. So here's the wiring. I'm not sure exactly. I mean, it looks like a mess, but I mean, it'll be in the back. This is what I have to deal with right now. And one of my friends that that I ride um that I ride with, he's gonna come he's gonna come do these for me in a bit. So I'll show you guys the process. And then I went to go buy these last minute ones. Just some standard uh they're H elevens, they're LEDs though. I bought them just so the whole thing can uh just be complete and I won't have to take it apart again. But there it is. Decided to keep this. If you guys decide to do a black housing, keep the chrome inside because if you do decide to black that out, you won't have no high beam anymore. I mean, I, I would like to enjoy my high beam, but if you don't care about it, then you can go ahead and black that out. It'll look a lot meaner. There's the, there's the right side. Here's the left side. And it's upside down, but there it is. I'm going to take them out right now, and then I'll show you guys uh, when they're on the car and then when they're on. Finally, the day has come, guys. Uh, this is like three days later. I dropped off the lights on Tuesday. Today is Friday. I'm gonna start taking off all the so all these all these trim pieces up top, and then the ones on the side and the ones on the bottom. I actually don't have the bottom ones on right now because I knew I was gonna have to take them off anyways. But um, I ended up doing this too, guys. Uh, just closing them out, just so nothing gets inside. No moisture, no dust. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and start taking it out, and then Chris should be here in a few. So we can go ahead and get these on and then wire them up. I'll give you guys an update. Here it is guys, I finally got everything off. The brackets are right there on the side. I put them each side, I put them where like the bolts where they're supposed to go. So I kind of don't forget. Then there's the bumper, put a towel under just in case. Also my paint's new, so don't want to mess that up. And then the headlights are here. I'm cleaning them up real quick because they're kind of, like there's like overspray. I don't know what happened here. Just saw that right now, but here they are, they're ready to be put on. I'm gonna start mounting them on. And then after I have them on, it'll just be plug and play. What kind of plug and play? I have to get wired them, wiring them up from there, but keep you guys updated. Yeah, guys, I'm back. It's been a while since my last, uh, since the last clip. It's probably been like a month, a month and a half, I'm sorry. But uh, here it is, it's finally back. Um, differences you might see on the car. Well, my windows are all down, but I actually have tin all around on the car now i got it retinted so i removed all the old tin i got 20 percent all around and i'll show you guys right now i'll roll my windows up so you guys can go ahead and see but here's how it looks from the back i mean you can still see it just depends where you're looking at it from also there's light so and seagulls are loud as hell very <laughs> being already seven but here here's how it is uh, so i'll explain to you guys in detail what i got done to my headlights so in case you guys want to and I'll, gi I'll give you guys, um, I guess, pricing from everything I got to to what it is now. So I ended up getting a Halo. I got a Sea Light. And then I got Black Housing, except for my High Beam. If you want to go ahead and black out the whole headlight or the whole inner, it would look a lot cleaner, a lot meaner during the day. But you are losing your High Beam. Um, yeah, this is the DRLs. I'll go ahead and show you guys how they run, I guess, in the daytime. Well, I guess at nighttime with the fog lights on. Yeah, you can't really see them, I guess. The camera doesn't really do justice, especially because I'm filming on an iPhone. But I have my fog lights, my sequential, and then my seat light. And I'll go ahead and show you guys that right now, too. That's probably, like, my, my favorite part, honestly. Well, a lot of people do like that, but a lot of people will also like like they would have preferred the sea light to also be sequential to go along with the with the fog light uh, sequential turn signal so but i mean it is what it is pretty nice i like it they're just small phases to the car gotta take it slow and then yeah, i guess if you want to see one side only well this is what happens i guess when you when you go ahead and um, so they are switchbacks, so as soon as you take off that sequential, it'll go ahead and turn back, back to white watts.
Yeah, I mean, they are pretty bright. They get a good, uh, good angle to the side. And here they are. And I got these done by SoCal Retrofit. He's down out in Santa Ana. His Instagram should be, I mean, SoCal Retrofit. He's pretty known for doing uh, Qs, Infinities. I mean, of everything, honestly. I am. These cost me about five sixty. And these are my. These are my original headlights. So, I mean, they're not as nice as newer headlights because I do have a uh, small little, like I guess, um, I have small dings already to the to the original headlights. So it doesn't look as nice or clear as they should be with the new lens. But I mean, it came out to a cheaper option, at least for me, if you're trying to budget. Your build, your build price might vary though, depending on what exactly you want on your headlights. But yeah, mine were 560. And you can always comment down below and ask me any questions. I'll go ahead and answer them. There it is, guys. And then I'll go ahead and show you guys my windows in case you guys are interested in getting tint. Here's what 20% looks like. And I did get a C2, uh, C2 film, which is a little bit more pricier than the regular carbon film. But I mean, like even in the hottest days here, I mean, it doesn't get that hot here, but like in the 80s, 70s, you won't feel the heat as much as you would in a regular tent. At least I feel like. Yeah, next thing I'm trying to get is either my STI wheels. So just some regular STI wheels because I guess I don't, I don't have the money right now for uh, some wheels and then also just an axle bag nothing crazy and then just little things i mean also the, like i mean the little smallest the, the smaller things make a difference you know like the the license plate lights so little by little there it is guys yeah but again if you guys have any any questions go ahead and uh, comment them uh, down below and let me know peace